they not in jail, as far as I know, not being prosecuted. Um, cronyism is a um, phrase our social fabric, but hmm. is it illegal? Have they broken any hmm. laws? I think the, the sad answer to that is that the reason why there's no real sort of threat of prosecution at this stage and ending up in jail in, is that the, the state capture network goes so much further than just these um, state-owned companies from which they derive their business benefits. If you look at the way in which the, the Hawks and the NPA of late have conducted themselves, you know, you, you cannot come to any other conclusion that had it not been for the, the way that they've been completely sort of, you know, driven off the ball and um, almost left lethargic, you know, that, that some of these big tender sort of cronies would have been behind bars right now. I just, I, I do not know of any serious attempt um, by an entity like the Hawks, for instance, to really investigate what happened at ESCOM, for instance, uh, the, the prepayment of the 500 million rand to, to, to Gita Exploration and Resources, which would then help them to, to acquire that company. That, that is a, tr a transgression of the Public Finance Management Act. And, you know, former public protector Tuli Madam Seda did come to that conclusion, but I do not know of any attempts by any of our law enforcement agencies to do a proper and honest criminal investigation of that um, transaction, for instance. So the, the chances of them ending up in jail with the current situation looks, looks uh, very slim. Commission, forgive me, I don't need the correct terminology, yeah. that is held as per the State of Capture Report, we don't have a chance to get them in court. Yes, and, and I think uh, that's, that's probably the, the sort of the beacon of light that um, former public protector Tilly Martin Seda's report actually uh, did manage to bring. You know, we had this promise or at least this expectation that there would be a, another commission of inquiry into state capture. Albeit the, the, the Commission of Inquiry into the arms deal, the Sariki Commission, did turn out to be somewhat of a whitewash, unfortunately. Um, but I think, you know, at least to, to, to get the process going would be a good start. And it's, it's, a, it's a sad indictment of President Jacob Zuma's tenure as president that what he has largely been doing is to, to avoid these kind of commissions in an ongoing pr protracted stay in court. You know, it's a, it's a president of... Um, a president who, it's, it's astounding to me that he's managed to actually find time in his day-to-day -day operations to run this country, given the amount of time he's spending in court to avoid these kind of probes into, into his conduct.